Morning folks, it's a uh, cold, uh, wind's died now but it's cold and wet and horrible, horrible weather we're getting this year, not this time last year, a lot of us were only too pleased to be in lockdown, although well, it made no difference to us really other than socialising, this is my work now, for what it's worth, um, I've squeezed out some Payne's Grey, I, I got rid of it from my, my bulk of Payne's Grey here. Uh, it's got a blue tint as you can see. Probably I could add some, well, I don't know, some ultramarine to the uh, ordinary Payne's Grey. But you can see there's indigo in this. I think indigo is um, one of the colours in Payne's Grey. Uh, indigo, ultramarine, no, in indigo, black and uh, alizarin crimson, I think. Not sure. But it's very dark. I haven't put the overhead lights on. It looks all right on the screen. So, uh, we're going to use uh, some lovely Windsor & Newton 15 by 11 90 pound cold pressed. Superb paper. Right, a little bit of wet. I was going to wet him wet. Well, I'll leave a few rod patches un unwetted. Uh, we we'll get a bit of let's get a bit of blue in there, a bit of bit of ultramarine. Nothing like that here. A little bit of cloud colour. Let's put a little bit of bit of light uh, sienna. Touch of red. Okay, well we'll let that go. That's a sky that doesn't exist outside my window. Just heavy cloud. So we've been watching uh, quite a bit of television lately, obviously, because like most of us, we're, our social life's been sort of curtailed. But um, Netflix and Prime are coming up with some super, super films. And our own Channel 5 and Channel 4 on the on catch up because i haven't got a tv license i cancelled it a couple of months ago sick of the bbc uh so i had to be careful what i watch but the on-demand services they're not live so you're free to watch and we've watched um uh, the uh the bushfire in canada in 2015 i think it was oh that was awful but what a bit of what, what a documentary on uh of wildfires getting out right out of hand and the night before we did the t tornadoes going f through uh i don't know, tornado valley uh, in 2005 or six in america awesome what you guys put up with i mean we complain about our weather but boy you did enough get some out there i think your tornado has touched down but very little damage here well, in the UK anyway. Right, I'm going to let's just put out a bit of texture in, in that. So we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll mix the green with uh, that uh, paint, paint grey with a blue cast. It's quite a good good green. Right. Let's see what happens. Add a bit of variety to it. Just making a pretty pattern, really. I'm using a, a large one, Manson Hake, for the moment.
Oh, right, let's get uh, some uh, bit of distance in here. We can imagine a bit of a flood, I think. Okay, let's go a little bit of distance, I think, with a bit of that ultramarine. I'll give this a dry in a minute. Right, okay, that'll do. Let's uh, pause. This paper, look how beautifully diffuse those colours have gone. If you flatten the board more and you mix a bit more light red in with the ultramarine, you'll get a granulation, like you can see just a bit of it here, where the paint starts to separate, the colours, the pigments separate. You can exploit that, it's very good with um, uh, black, black and uh, burnt sienna, uh, burnt umber and blue, uh, ultramarine blue, they separate and you can get a lovely grainy effect. So that's good enough. I'm going on to my smaller height now. I want to put in some nice greens, in foliage. So let's see how we go on with this. Just mix in a bit of that Payne's grey. Putting out loose hairs as I go. That's uh, it's quite rough. <laughs> well, I'm quite rough. A little bit of a dark in there, uh, a bit of ultramarine. Now my tree specimens don't don't really exist. There's some darker green. There's a dry brush on. It's hard to dry brush on. It's quite rough this paper. It wasn't. I didn't think it was. Well, I haven't got much water on the brush. That's probably why. Uh, we can put some filigree in that. We can let's have a try that again. Good exercise in painting greens. A bit of a burnt sienna. Let's get some blue. So making a blue green here. I, I only use uh, the hakes. I, I've got all the sables, but I really don't. Uh, I, I've never practiced enough with them since I first started watercolor painting, anyway. Uh, we're using, losing some hair here. I'll go back to some greens, let's get some
Okay, now we want to put some texture in there in the, in the foreground. So let's get a nice, good, good green, keep it green. There's some dark shadow in there. All right, let's use a bit of wiggle work. I'll put a bit of a leafage on some of those. Leafage. Right, I'm going to dry that again. Forgot to drink my tea, it's so cold. Oh, I'm very warm. Oh. Times I do that, make a cup of tea and bring it up and. Okay, we'll put that amount and have a look at it. Uh, I think I've actually got through this video without any disasters. What I've done, I, I, I set the, I pressed the record well, on, on my laptop and then move the cursor onto the next item on the left, which is the pause, and leave it there. 
that way I don't get tempted to to to, to stop the recording and start a new one, which is the whole purpose of having this webcam in the first place. So I could pause and record. All right, let's uh, put that there. Well, a nice gentle one for a. Now this is very strange. Um, the colours are they look a good re reproduction of the screen, but the this is a an ivory light ivory mount, which is, appears grey, light grey. So that's got to be something to do with um, the exposure. I, I don't know. But anyway, it looks all right. So uh, we'll let it go. Uh, hope you like this one, folks. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.